Hi, welcome back. I'm Monica, and today I'm exploring the another Jira service management marketplace app, which is Smart Attachment for Jira. With this app, you can efficiently manage your documents by grouping them on based on labels and uploaded date, uploaders, and more. Today, in this video, I'll walk you through the numerous features this app has to offer. So, without any further ado, let's jump right into the video and see how this app can help you. This is the Smart Attachment for Jira, and you can see it is available on the app. national marketplace for the jira service management to access the documentation of this app you can access from the overview tab when you will scroll down you will find in the resource section here and you can find the documentation from the support tab to here when you will click on the support here the link of the documentation when you will open it it will look like this where you will find the information about the app how you will use the app as an user and as an admin So now we will start from the installation how you will install this app this is my jira instance where you can go and install this app this is the jira service management if you want to switch then you can simply switch with the help of uh, this one you can go and switch to the jira service management after that you will go into the apps and then you will click on explore more apps here you will search for the apps smart attachment for jira and then you will hit the enter you will find this app as a first result this is a smart attachment for jira this app is developed by a company still soft when you will click then you can check the vendor name also this is a still soft and here you will get a option to install this app in your cloud instance right now i have already added that's why you can see the added label here and the option for configure this app when you will install this app then there is no need to do any extra setting to use this app you can start quickly i have added this now i will go into my project where this is itsm sample space i will click here and when you will install this app then you will be able to see some option here like uh, in the sidebar you will be able to find uh, find the option the find attachment i'll explore what is the use of this option and when you will go into the project setting then you will have a option here about the smart attachment when you will click in the smart attachments then you will have a setting about enable and disable i'll tell you what is the meaning of this setting now what we will do we will go to the project and then i will pick a one ticket here let's suppose it's a need enterprise license okay i will click here and when you will come to the issue view you can see we have a section smart attachment here which is coming from this app in this section there are a lot of features are available here you can see the filter attachment by label and here you can see the listing of your documentation we have the option to change the view of the documentation if you want to see in the list view then you can do it with the help of this otherwise if you want to see in the grid then you can change the grid view with the help of this it means like we have the two option to show our documentation list and grid but i would go to prefer with the list view here and when you will hover over on any attachment you will have a option to edit that particular attachment and the delete this particular attachment here you can see these are the labels that i have created already if you want to edit then you can simply click on the edit and here you can change the label of that particular attachment this app is really good if you want to categorize your documentations on behalf of the labels you can group them let's suppose you don't have your labels in the list then you can create your own let's suppose this is the testing label that i want to give to this attachment uh, sorry i have to do it again yes this is the testing and then press the enter like this uh, i have assigned this testing label to this particular document here we have the other options as well when you will go then you can group those documents by group by label uploader and uploaded date let's suppose if you will click on group by label then your attachment section will look like this gif images okay this particular uh, e documentation is grouped by this label like this and here these two documents are unlabeled because i haven't specified any label for those documents you have the other options as well like you can group by the uploader here you can see the uploader name and the documentation you can group by the uploaded date 
and it will look like this so this is pretty cool and we have a option to filter the attachment by labels also if you will click here then you will find the list of the labels where you can filter your attachment with the help of the labels let's suppose i want to filter my documentations as in pdf then here you can see the pdf list this is available and i want the gif image as well then the gif image documentation is here like this you can filter your attachment with the help of the labels you can see we have the smart attachment option here but what uh, should i do if i want this particular section just about the configure option so we have a setting here once you will go into the project setting here then you have a option to change the view of the app when you will go into the project setting and click on the smart attachments here you have a toggle button if you want this particular smart attachment here then it should be enabled otherwise you can make it disable and you will be able to see this smart attachment section above the configure you will find the same options like filter attachment by labels and where you can change the view of your documentation and you can group by label uploader and upload date now we will see the other options let's suppose if you want to perform let's suppose you want to delete the more documentation then how you will do then let's suppose i want to delete this one this one and this documentations that what i will do i have selected these three documentation and here i will find a option about the bulk operation like i can add the labels on the multiple attachments i can replace the labels i can remove the labels and i can delete the attachments too so like this you can perform the bulk operation on your documentation this is pretty cool you just have to select the multiple documents and here you can see the multiple operation that you can perform on those selected documents so i have explained how you can install this app then how you can change the view of your app and how you can manage the labels of the attachment and manage the bulk operation on the attachment too now i want to highlight a one feature which is uh, awesome you can add the revision to your attachment here and i really like this one so let's suppose i will take a example here this is the ppt that i will upload again with the same name so i will upload this file again here okay let me do it and save it will automatically group to your documents and the uh, latest will be on top here you can see the time i have just installed it on 59 and this one is already installed on 4th of jan so this is how the revision of the attachment works with this app so i have explained the app how you will use the app as a user perspective now i will go to the admin section so as a admin you can see how you can configure and manage this app for this i will click on the setting icon and then i will click on the apps you can also go from here in the top menu you can click on the apps and after that you can click on manage your apps here in the left side bar you will see a smart attachment option where you will get a two options which is attachment indexation and the label management the first way of creating the label was the issue view okay let me open the view again i'll go back to the project and i will open a one ticket here you can also create the labels from this section you when you will click on the edit and you will not find your label here then you can simply type and you can create your label let's suppose it is again the testing one okay so like this you can create the labels from the issue view too and the second option is to create the label from the label management but first of all we will see what is indexing attachment so you have to perform this action so that you can find your attachment easily the find attachment requires indexations of the attachment so then you can search for these at attachment you have to just click on the index attachment and then you have to wait until the indexation is in progress you can see the one project are being indexed at the moment and the three projects are waiting for indexation it means we have to wait for some time and like this you will be able to find this message indexation of the attachment has completed successfully 
Now we will see the second which is label management. And here you can see the list of the labels that I have created from the issue view. You can read this like label creation is limited to the Jira administrator. It means the Jira administrator can only create the labels or the users who are in the label creator groups can also create them. To allow the Jira users label creations, create the label groups and add them to it. So this is the way how the Jira admin can give the access to the users so that they can also create the labels by adding them to the label creators group. Okay, let's come to this section here. You can see the name of the label, color preview and the option to delete this label. You can change the color when you will click here and let's suppose I want to make it gray and you can do it. You can choose the color as per your preferences. You can delete the labels as well or you can create the label. When you will click here, you will get an option to add the name. You can choose the color and you, here you can see the preview. And if you don't want to keep that, then you can simply delete it. So this is the way how you can create labels as an admin. And if you are admin, then you will be able to see these two options under the smart attachment section. Now there is also a one important feature of the app that I have told you when I was exploring the apps initially, which is a find attachment. When you will click on the find attachment, then it will give you an option to search for issues with the attachment. You will have an option to start like you can enter the user or you can uh, write some text. So on the basis of this, it can search for the attachment. Let's suppose I want some thing to search which is containing a face like here you can see the other two gifs are available which is confused face gif face one gif here two gifs contain the face text so this is the way you can search your documentation here okay let me press the enter and even you can enter the user let's suppose i want to find the attachment uploaded by monica so i can hit the search button and like this you will be able to find the attachment so this is also a cool way to find your attachment to search for your issues with the attachment here you can see the issue keys are available you can simply click on the issue key and get the details of the issue here you can also see the status so this is a pretty cool way to search for issues with the attachment now we will move to the other feature as a jira admin how you can configure validators and how you can configure the post functions these are the pretty good feature okay i'll go to the project setting now and then i will click on a summary and here i want to see the workflow okay uh, the jira service management it support workflow is this for project now what i will do i will go here or i can simply click from here as well let's suppose i want to add this validator for the jira service management default workflow or i think i can take this one yes this one the service request fulfillment i'm gonna close it okay now what I will do, I will click on the diagram and here, here I want to put a validator when someone will move the ticket from pending to resolve. Okay, I'm gonna click on edit because I want to edit it. And now I will click here on this particular transition. You will get an option to add the validators. When you will come here in the validator, you will get an option to add the validator. And here we have the validator issue has attachment with labels. This validator will allow the transition only if the issue has any attachment with required labels. So like this, you can put the validator which is coming from the smart attachment for Jira cloud. Okay, you can click and then you can click on the add but right now I don't want to add any kind of a validator in my workflow. Okay, let's discard, discard it. Now there is also the post functions which is available. So we can see again we can go to the diagram and click on the add it and we can put the post function as per our workflow requirement. Let's suppose I want to keep the 
function when someone will move the ticket from in progress to cancelled or maybe we can make it if someone is making from resolve to close okay let's click on this transition and then click on the post function when you will come into the post function and click on the add post function you will see a smart attachment post function here adds or replace labels of the attachment based on the attachment name or the regular expression when you will click here and click on the add then here you will find some actions like action one operation is add labels after that you will assign the labels you have to search the label here when you will click then you will find the label and if you if you want to apply some kind of the regular expression then you can do it like files to apply any files file name contains text or file names matching some regular expression so this is pretty cool now i will click on the cancel because i don't want to put any kind of the post function and click on the discard draft so this is the way you can use the validator and the post function of this app now i will go to their documentation and i want to see if something is important because i really want to highlight this section what is the difference between the server data center and the cloud version of this app here you can uh, come and read what is the difference between the server data center and the cloud version you will able to find what is available in the server and data center and what is available in the cloud with the specifies of the implementations you can also read about the pre migration assessment checklist which is really important these days because we have to move from server to cloud so you can come and read the pre migration assessment checklist here and you can also read about the migration from the server to cloud this is a pretty awesome guide here you can read it and you can also read about the securities questions that you have in your mind so this is pretty cool you can come to their documentation and read about those things their documentation is also easy to read and easy to understand about the app when you will come here this is the user guide and this is the admin guide you can go and read out but if you want to learn it quickly then you can watch this video because i have already explained the important feature of this app this is all about the smart attachment for jira cloud from my side but i would recommend go and try this app so that you can understand and use this app features if you found this video helpful then give us a thumbs up and subscribe this channel it gives me a motivation to create such kind of a content thanks for watching this video have a great day